First reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. 
Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please, come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs, where all the widows came to him weeping, and showing him the tunics and the cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorium. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord all the good he has done for me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are Spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life 
and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, good morning, everyone. Uh, before I share a few thoughts with our scripture readings in today's memorial of St. Athanasius, I want to express how disappointed I am to read in the paper this morning about the protests of the confinement, the stores being closed, and the churches being closed. Now, I realize that there's an econ economy debt that people are incurring. But I will say this about the churches. I have been in communication with the leadership of most of our churches in Ventura City. I'm talking about not only myself as a representative of the Catholic Church, but our Protestant churches. We've had weekly updates among ourselves discussing things. And all of us are in union with our government leaders that we should not gather too quickly so until we are sure that we cannot spread the coronavirus. Even some Protestant pastors and ministers who have very small congregations, 30, 40 people, they say, we don't want to bring them together yet. And while uh, some churches and states have opened, even in southern, southern states and Midwest states, just last week, the leader of the AME Church of one state, I'm not sure if it was Alabama or what, what, what's, he said, I'm not gonna allow our churches to open. Our people are huggers. They wanna go and greet each other. And he said, that would be the worst thing. So it's not that the government is inhibiting our rights. The government is helping us. We the people, for the people, by the people. The government is helping us to take a wise step back. They're not refusing us to have the freedom of religion. They're saying it's not appropriate presently to congregate. And so I know we all long to be together, but I also invite us to use our wisdom that has been imbued to us by God. The wisdom that St. Athanasius used to fight against those heresies that Jesus was not co-equal with God the Father, that he was somehow subordinate to the Father as a lesser God, no. Athanasius used the wisdom that was imbued upon him to do the will of God. And I beseech you, all of us, to pray for the end of this coronavirus, to pay for patience for people whose wits are at hands. But the answer isn't to protest and to congregate and potentially spread the virus. It only takes one or two people in that group to have the virus and to spread it as close as they were. Common sense and loyalty to the wisdom of our, of our, the cooperative wisdom of our leadership, both in the church and in the civil authorities. Let us practice some wisdom. Now with Athanasius, God love him. You know him. Every time we come to Mass on Sunday, every time we profess the Nicene Creed, we know Athanasius. He was a defender that Jesus was an equal, as the Holy Spirit is an equal, and so he, he wrote about the divinity of Christ, and during that council in the fourth century, the Council of Nicaea, early 300s, when the church was trying to figure out where is the truth in this, Athanasius helped insert into what was pre prior, our Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, that Jesus is, uh, is, is begotten from God. He's co-equal with God. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Consubstantial with the Father, one with the Father. And when you and I express our faith, although not in the divinity of Jesus, obviously, but when we express our faith through baptism, through the union of, 
of being united with Jesus our Savior and God the Father, then we can stand up and profess as, as uh, uh, Peter did too. Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. And so I say for me and for my house, as pastor for us and the parishioners of Mission San Buenaventura, we stand with the Lord. We stand with our Archbishop Jose Gomez and all the bishops that are in union with their civic leaders to do the right thing. May we always be in union with our God and do the right thing in our lives. For how shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Amen. I don't like to become too political, but you understand that I'm just a little upset because no one is forcing us not to open up our churches. We're doing it cooperatively for the good of all. So now let us pray for the good of all as we cooperate with our, 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 our triune God, as we cooperate with all the members of our church for following the example of St. Athanasius, who faithfully served the Lord and trusted in him throughout his life we now bring our needs to our merciful and loving God. For the leaders of our church, for Francis, for Jose, and all those bishops, may the Holy Spirit continue to give them strength and grace in proclaiming the, the truth fearlessly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our political leaders who are trying their best to discern what is best for us. May God grant them courage in passing laws protecting life, now in the midst of coronavirus, but also for those who are courageous to stand up for the, for the life that begins within the conception of the womb through, and, and also all the way through life to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, And sadly, we pray for those who have any addiction. And the addictions can come in many forms. Uh, may the hope of resurrection in Jesus give them strength in their pursuit of healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the community of Mission San Buenaventura, for you, our parishioners, and those who are joining us from afar, our visitors that we welcome, may the Lord place his hand upon us May the Lord guide us in our service to the sick, in our service to the oppressed or the suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the departed, the faithful departed, uh, all those who have died and, uh, with faith, may they rest in the peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the particular intention of this Mass, it was designed some weeks ago for the social workers of San Francisco, but we pray for all social workers and all those in the healthcare profession who are coming to our aid in this time of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we trust in your infinite goodness and love. Kindly hear our prayers which we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are you, Lord God of all for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Let us see you on forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it'll become our spiritual drink. This is the with humble spirit and contrite heart. May be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. The Lord, wash me my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of Saint Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess, as he did, an unblemished faith, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of the all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Amarum, Gloria Tua, O Sana in Excelsis, Benedictus, qui benedict in Domine Domini, O Sana in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our Blessed Patrons, Buenaventura, Junipero Sera, Catele Tecavita, and all the saints who have pleased you Throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him with him in him, for God Almighty, Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. Mis hermanos, pido esta recomendación del Salvador y seguir la divina enseñanza. No nos atrevemos a decir. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, pero no nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación, y libertamos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor y concedernos la paz por esos días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de tu salvación. Mientras esperamos la gloriosa vida de nuestro Salvador, Jesucristo, tú eres el Señor, y eres la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que te dijiste en tus pasos, los pasos teco y pasos doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia, conforme a tu palabra, con ser la paz de la tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor es siempre con ustedes. Y con tu reino. Daos virtualmente la paz. La paz de Cristo. La paz de Cristo. La paz de Cristo. For therefore the cross be quitas, el pecado del mundo, el pecado de nosotros, el pecado de nosotros. For therefore the cross be quitas, el pecado del mundo, El que ha de nosotros, el que ha de nosotros, por temor de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo, danos la paz, danos la paz, danos la paz. Este es el poder de Dios, que quita el pecado del mundo, dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. 
Señor, no soy digno, tú mientes mi casa, pero una palabra tuya basta la para salvarme. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with Saint Athanasius, may, through his sacrament, ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we do also you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. And Thanks be to God. God. Jesus Christ is risen today. Hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day. Amen. Oh.